Today we will be creating a paper cutout collage inspired by the artist Henry Matisse. The materials you will need today are going to be a drawing tool, colored construction paper or if not any other paper will do, printer paper, scrap paper, etc. You need scissors, glue, and any other adaptive tools that you may need to help you be your most independent. Gather your materials and we are going to be working with organic and abstract shapes. You can use different types of lines to create your shapes. For example, zigzag, wavy, loopy, or straight. We're going to choose the biggest paper for our background. Then, with our other pieces of paper, we're going to pick some lines and create different free-formed and abstract shapes are organic shapes. Got a zigzag here. I'm going to do a couple on the paper because I can use all these. Now with my cutting tools, got that and we will move on. Next, I'm going to pick some wavy lines. And you don't have to go across the paper. You can create these shapes all different ways as you can see. And what I'm showing you as well is you don't have to cut straight on the line. It doesn't have to be perfect. We can just turn those over in our work so we don't see those lines. All right, and remember Scribble? You can also use Scribbles to create these organic freeform shapes. So look at that. I'm just scribbling along and what we will do is we'll cut around our Scribble and then we'll just turn him over just like so. I also liked that little edge, so I decided to cut that out too. You can use your scraps as well in your artwork. Getting some corners. Once you have everything, we're going to move your pieces around your background until you find what you really like, what is visually pleasing to your eye. That one. All right, so when you are satisfied, it is time to glue. I've also flipped my pieces over at the spot that I want them just to remember. And if it helps you, you can create little X's or dots to cover. Now when we're gluing, remember, white glue, just a dab will do. Glue sticks, you can glue on the little paper or put it on the background. But just a little bit, don't need a lot. And see how I'm covering up my X's with my glue? But that's just one way to do it. If you want, you can also just pick your pieces up and glue them wherever. It's kind of fun to do it either way. It's up to you. See how I'm just, that wasn't there initially, but now I'm just moving them around and getting creative. All right. One more. I think it's great. So let's say you don't have this colorful construction paper. We have an alternative activity. You can color on paper. See, I'm using an adaptive tool. That's something you might need. There's a little grip. And what I'm doing is I'm just creating these organic shapes with my drawing tools. You still will need scissors. Uh, and if you need help, ask a, ask a friend or an adult to help you cut out your organic shapes. We'll rip them out of the paper. And we'll get a slightly bigger piece of paper for our background, but see, here I'm cutting them around. They don't have to be perfect. We're just cutting those shapes out. See that on our bigger paper? Then we're still, once again, we're gonna move our shapes around until we find the way we like it. Oh, tricky, tricky. Oh, that kinda looks like a face. I think I'm gonna glue that. All right, just a little bit. And you see, I'm also, once again, making my marks so I can remember where I wanted those pieces. But you don't have to do that. It's just another way to help you remember where you want this. All right, so we're moving along. And this is just one alternative that you can do. I also thought maybe if you had Play-Doh, you can create these free-formed organic shapes and lay them out on a table for your Matisse, it wouldn't be a paper cutout, but it would also work. Thanks for watching.